Hello everybody. I got a request the other day to make a bit a bigger project and the suggestion was to model a revolver. So since I'm in pension and have the time and the weather is lousy I thought I'd give it a go. I found this picture here on Google Pictures I resized it a bit with the pixel size. I set the transparency to 80%. I think you know how to add a backdrop item. You go to add item, then backdrop. Then <clears throat> in the backdrop you have this image thing and you can click and then add load image. Next I sent the transparency to 80% and resized it to a size which I think is about what we would expect. It is 12.6 and 18.5 centimeters. So I think this is about right. So drop this, delete this and then let's start. There are a couple of things which uh, I think are quite important. Uh, by the way, this is just a hobby of mine, modeling. So I might show you workflows which are not the most efficient ones, but anyway, I do enjoy it and I hope I can show you a bit how to do something like this. The first thing we have to be careful is this area of the grip because it really makes sense to make this in a way that it can be reused later on for the grips. And the next thing here is this area <coughs> which will also dictate certain things. This by the way is a drop kick revolver so it means barrel and drum will be uh, rotated around this axis here. So let me start with the grip area. I use the pen tool and start from here with merge and make quads enabled. So Let's click here. We don't need the dimension tool. So let me reselect this here. Like so. And so. So. And so, so drop the tool. Now we have two, four, six, seven edges. I go down to here, select such a stripe, drop the tool, select this edge here, that take the R key, bring it in a bit. We can do this better later. An old C with a count of six and uniform. Now I can select this edge here, shift select these up arrow key and go and bridge them together. Next I will select an edge in here, old C. Ah, oh, yeah, the count is okay. I will pause the video now and move this around and uh, come back later. So, I'm back. I have uh, <coughs> moved a bit things around. I, by the way, use exclusively the transform tool, which is activated by the T key and lets you move polygons, 
or verbs or edges depending on what you want to do. You don't have to select anything, it's just what is highlighted under your cursor, this will be moved when you click the left mouse button. So, next thing is because I want to use this also for the grips, I drop the tool, go to polygon mode and hit the bevel key and bevel this in just a little bit like so. Control copy, hit the end key for a new mesh, rename this mesh to grip and control V this in. We don't need this at the moment but it's ready to be used later on. So we go back to the body and now I get rid of the polygons which I put in. Sorry, no, that's not a good idea. I want to get rid just of the additional edges I put in. These here. So hit the backspace key. Good. And you see if I go to subdivision mode it looks really nice and smooth. Next is this area here. I create a circle with eight edges. About 6.6 .6 here. Drop the tool, select this new polygon, hit the B key for bevel, and bevel it in to about here. Drop the tool. Now we might make it a bit bigger, hit the R key and W like so. So next I will select these two edges here and these two edges and bridge them together like so. <clears throat> we need uh, some cuts in here so let's all see. Yeah we can get rid of the ones which are not needed later, so that's okay. And now I hit the T key and move this up a bit, maybe like so. And I move this up more to here. Should have done this before. Now I can select all these edges here, up arrow key and then hit the R key and flatten them out. And W key bring them down to about here. I don't want to have this one. W again, like so. Drop the tool. <clears throat> so here we have some areas which I use the T key, 
bring this to here, then select these two edges, hit the set key, bring them up a bit, shift click, bring them up about to here, shift click to about here. Now I start to fill in these here, select this edge and this edge, bridge, then mm, let me see this edge and this edge. Now I select these three, hit the set key, bring them up to about here, drop the tool, select this word and this word, connect them together. I probably have to put the cut in here, so let me take the add loop tool and make it to about here, drop the tool. Now I can take these up, W key. It's really only moving stuff around. I need another loop in here. Drop the tool, take the T key, bring this down and now take this edge, hit the set key, bring it up to here, T key for the transform tool and let's see how this looks. We need to straighten this line here so R key bring it down on the X and we need to straight this one R key. Let's see T key again. I will uh, stop the video again and just make this uh, mesh a bit nicer. I'll come back as soon as I'm done.